Hello, Scouts. It's Mr. Kugler, and we're going to try something a little different that maybe you haven't thought about with your Dutch oven. Now, think about when you're going camping and you're lugging in all that gear into your site, and uh, you want to make the most out of each piece of equipment that you have. And a Dutch oven is a prime example of an underutilized article that we bring in or um, equipment that we bring in because we think about stewing in it or we think about baking in it, but we often don't think about using it as a frying pan. So today we're going to show you how to make some egg sandwiches using a 12 inch Dutch oven. We're going to use the lid and we're going to use the bottom and you'll be amazed on how quickly we can produce a nice breakfast that would be great on a especially a Sunday morning at a campery or a camp out where you're looking for something simple to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second. I'm going to go into my pile of coals that I've got going here from my campfire, something you probably have every morning anyways. And I'm going to do a bed of coals to put my lid on top of and to put my pot on top of. So now that I have my bed of coals down, it's nice heat coming off of that. I'm going to set up my cook surfaces. So one of the things that you want to use, and I, I could potentially use three rocks, like baseball size rocks, but I'm using this lodge lid lifter or lid stand, excuse me. And normally you would put it like set up like this when you were putting a lid on it when you were baking or, or cooking. I'm gonna use it upside down. And the reason for that is I'm gonna have my lid upside down. And if I have it right side up, the loop on the top of the pot is gonna get in the way of the lid. But if I do it like this, the loop on the top of the lid will not be in the way. So I'm gonna put this right on my coals. This is gonna give some air space below to make sure I don't snuff out my coals. Same principle you use when you uh, use your Dutch oven with the feet on it. And then I'm gonna put the, uh, the pot, I'm gonna put on the coals as well. I just got double the surface area that I would normally have if I just used the bottom of the pot. And really, what is the pot? It's like an extra deep frying pan. As I get a little bit of smoke here from our lovely fire. But uh, the extra deep pot, the only thing that really becomes a problem is trying to get my spatula in there to work. So I'll show you how I work around this uh, in a second. So we've got our, our deep pot here, our 12 inch regular Dutch oven, but a deeper skillet. And we have our lid upside down inverted over to coals. We're gonna give these a couple minutes and let them come up to temperature. And then we'll be ready to make our egg sandwiches. So we've got our skillet and our other deep skillet here, AKA uh, Dutch oven and Dutch oven lid. And while I've been waiting to heat it up, one of the things I've done to check and see is to put a little bit of butter on here. And you can see that that is just melting, bubbling up nice. So it tells me my pots are ready to go. This first egg is going to be awesome because there's quite a pool of butter there. So there's a couple things that we're going to do. I'm going to start with an egg, actually two eggs, because nothing's better than two eggs in your sandwich in the morning. And you notice that I'm going to start in the middle here. Got to get that egg. You notice that that is just nice and hot. One of the challenges that you'll face when you're doing this is just making sure that uh, you maintain the heat to the right level. So notice that that egg, because this is a large Dutch oven, that moved to the middle because it's concave. The other thing I'm going to do is I have a Portuguese roll here. I'm going to put it in my other Dutch oven and I'm going to toast that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work this egg. I want to get it so that it's about the size that's going to fit nicely in my egg sandwich with my roll here. 
Now, what would be better than an egg sandwich? I know you could do ham on your egg sandwich, ham, egg, and cheese, one of my favorites. But what about a steak, egg, and cheese sandwich? Think about deli roast beef. It's the same thing that steak's made out of, right? But it's cooked. And you could take a couple slices of roast beef, try not to do like I did and stick it in the fire. Get rid of that part that hit the ash. So we're gonna put some roast beef here. Do two slices. And I'm gonna heat my roast beef up on this skillet. So my egg started to set up. Got a little of that egg yolk on the roast beef, not a big deal. You may wanna break your oaks, your, your yolks, so they don't end up all over your uniform. Um, so look at how quickly that roast beef is nice and browning up. Now I flip my egg over, the bottom of that is cooking. Now while that's cooking, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take two slices of American cheese, and I'm gonna lay them right on top of my egg. And I'm gonna let that melt in nice. Press down and move around my Portuguese roll here that I have. You could use white bread. Uh, you could even put a, uh, you know, some other types of bread, whole wheat, whatever, whatever you, maybe you had it left over from lunch the day before. So my roast beef really is, is done here. I'm gonna put it on top of, um, top of my sandwich here. That'll also help keep some of the heat in on my, uh, to help melt my cheese there. But if I was cooking multiple eggs, what I could have done is when that egg rolled to the center of this concave pot, I could have taken that egg and moved it up to the side. And then I could go ahead and put my next set of eggs right in the middle of the concave oven. Bottom of my egg is nicely cooked. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab out my toasted Portuguese roll here. I'll leave the top in there for now. I'm gonna take my egg, along with that American cheese, a little roast beef. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my roll on the top. Now here is the trick. When we're camping and it's a Sunday morning and we don't wanna spend a lot of time cleaning up, We've got a Dutch oven, the lid, a spatula right now to clean up. Grab some paper towels if you're worried about having a plate and use that or just eat it right off your hands. And you'll be good to go without having to worry about plates and everything to wash. So I hope you found this helpful. Think of other ways that you could use this setup with the pot here and the lid inverted and on top of a lid stand. Perhaps you're doing toasted cheese sandwiches at lunch on a camporee. Quick, easy way, great uh, idea for uh, reducing your cleanup. And what's better than a, a egg and steak and cheese sandwich on a nice Portuguese roll on a Sunday morning as you're getting ready to break camp. So I hope you found this useful. Try it out on your next camping trip and we'll see what other adventures you can come up with using this setup.